Math 155, Chapter 14.4 to 14.5, Integrated Review. So this lecture video, let's take a look at something called the negative exponent. So I kind of mentioned negative exponent um, at the beginning of 14.4 to 14.5, Integrated Review, something about <clears throat> negative exponent always going to give me answers that is between 0 to 1. So it turns out negative exponent says for any real number a, okay, raising to the negative exponent, okay, if my base has a negative exponent, then what we're going to do is to flip the base to the other side of the fraction and then make the exponent the same. So this a right now to the negative m power is actually on the numerator because it's, it can be written as over 1. So once I flip it over to the other side, it become a, my base a come to the denominator, and then my exponent come with it, it uh, also come down here with it, and it become positive. So since there's no number on top, it got to be a numerical number one on the top. All right, so um, whenever, so most of the time students says, if the exponent is negative for the base, then all we're going to do is flip it to the other side and make the exponent positive. So just like this 4 to the negative third power, okay, so if I put this in the calculator, 4 exponent is the caret key, all right, if, if you don't have the caret key, your calculator can also have something like y to the x or maybe like x to a box or something like that where we can type in negative 3 power. So mine here says y to the negative 3 power, which will give me 0 point something. So if I convert it to a fraction in the calculator, so then I get 1 over 64. Okay, so that's the final answer. So now, um, if, you, if you use a different calculator than me, um, like, like if you use a scientific calculator such as Casio or TI, or, or other TI series, look for um, look for things that says F to D symbol, okay? That's how you convert between decimal and decimal and fraction. Or you can look for anything that says um, S to D, and that's if you use a Casio, okay? So in module um, in the next. Test two material. I will I will begin to talk more about this um, because there might be problems where we need to convert it into an improper fraction. I will show you uh, how I will show you the command as well. All right. So let me do this same problem by hand real quick. This four is actually four over one. Since my negative three power is sitting on top of the four, that means my base four has a negative exponent. So what we can do is flip it to the other side. <coughs> Excuse me. and also made the exponent positive. So since it's nothing on top, it must be a 1 on top. And as you can see, 4 to the third power means 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. Okay, so let's take a look at this x to the negative 6 power. My base x has a negative exponent, so we'll flip it to the other side of the fraction and make the exponent positive. So my answer got to be 1 over x to the 6 power. Now, it doesn't always mean flip it to the denominator. It just, negative exponent just flip it to the other side of the fraction, okay? So if I have something like 1 over x to the negative 6 power, so this base x has a negative exponent, so that means the base will flip it to the other side of the fraction. That means it will come on top of the fraction, and we can make the exponent positive. All right. Now, 2x to the negative 7 power, all right? So 2x to the negative 7 power means 2 times x to the negative 7 power. I'm writing it this way so you can see the negative 7 power is actually on top of the base x, not on top of the 2. As a matter of fact, on top of the 2, the exponent is positive 1. So only x has a negative exponent, therefore x will actually flip it to the other side. Because currently, 2x to the negative 7 power is actually over 1. So that put both factor on the numerator. So only the base x need to be flipped. Need to be flipped. 
So then I should get two should stay on the top, and x to the negative seven power come to the bottom become x to the positive seven. Okay. So I purposely wrote this one here to demonstrate that this base two actually has a positive exponent, so it does not need to be flipped. So when I key in my answer, I'm still gonna key in two, not two to the first. All right, this is a very interesting problem because this problem, um, we can we, there are a couple of ways we can do this. Okay, when you see base are the same and base are multiplying, we can technically add the exponent. Okay, if I add the exponent, three plus negative nine will be negative six. So now my x actually have a negative exponent, so I it need to be flip it to the other side of the fraction. So since x means x over 1, that x will flip it to the bottom. So the only thing left on top is, is a 1. So we can add exponent first, and then we can flip it. All right. Or another way of doing this is seeing in this x or negative seeing this base x has a negative exponent we can actually flip it first so if I will flip this x to the other side of the fraction that means I should still have x to the third on top this x come to the bottom become to the positive 9 power so once I flip it then I can actually subtract my exponent either way it will give me the same same answer it just depends on um, depends on the student's preference. So we can flip it first. Once we see negative exponent, then we can subtract the exponent. So since I got 3x on top, 9x in the bottom, when they canceled out, there should be extra 6x's multiplying here in the bottom. So since they canceled out, it must be 1 on top. All right. I normally like to flip the negative exponent first just for the fact that I don't like to deal with negatives at all, you know, not less negative exponents. All right, let's take a look at this one. 5x to the negative fifth, y to the zero power. So this is all one term. Once again, everything is everything we do here is one term. All right, 5 times x to the negative fifth times y to the zero power. So as you can see, only x has a negative exponent. So only x will flip. All right, the 5 is to the first power, so that will stay on top. X will come to the bottom, becomes the fifth power. And again, anything to the zero power is always 1. Okay, so Y to the zero power is 1, so that's why there's no Y in my answer. All right, let's take a look at this one. This one is interesting. So a couple things I can do. I can go ahead and add the exponent first on the top, then subtract because I'm all you because I'm using um, x for basis, okay? Or I can flip this, and we, I can flip this x to negative 1 to the top, then add up all the exponents, all right? So either way, um, it's the same. It should give me the same answer. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and add these first two on the top, so that should give me x to the <coughs> 15 power, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> I should give me x to the 15 power. So I still got x to the negative 1 power down here. So now I'm going to flip it to the top. So I still got x to the 15 on top. Now the x to the negative 1 come on top become x to the positive 1. So when I add again, that will be x to the 16. Okay. Now, could I have subtract? The exponent first. Yes, I could. I could have take the 6 on the top, subtract this negative 1 in the bottom. That will give me x to the 7 power. Let me write it right here. If I will go ahead and subtract, take the top exponent, subtract the bottom. So then that will give me x to the 7 power. So when I just write this x to the 7 power, it's actually automatically to, to put the x on the numerator. And what else is also on the top? the numerator x to the 9 power so based on the same I can actually add the exponent now I could also take the 9 the exponent 9 on top subtract the negative in the bottom that will give me positive 10 I could do it that way 
So that means I got x to the six times x to the ten power. So that will give me x to the sixteen still. So either way, it doesn't matter how you do it. Um, the answer will, will will still come out to be the same. All right. So a quick lesson and a quick video on the negative exponent rule for uh, negative exponents. Um, negative exponent rules. All right. That will conclude this lecture video. Thank you for watching.